All right, so this is Geometry Chapter 4, Section 1, called Congruent Figures. Um, these are notes. Make sure to include the proper title if you are handing them in to me for my class. Um, make sure you put our learning objective on there, too, so write it on your paper. The objective is to recognize congruent figures and their corresponding parts. So we're definitely hanging out with congruent figures, and we are going to tell how to start fussing around with their congruent uh, corresponding parts. Essential understanding is we can determine whether two figures are congruent. Somebody help me out. What is congruent? Bryce? Same everywhere. It's got the same measure. Congruent means it has the same measure. So if I have a congruent figure, that means I have like a triangle that's exactly the same from one to the other. Of course, they've got congruent figures. Alright, so key concept is, and let's highlight because anytime we see a definition we should definitely highlight it. Um, congruent polygons have congruent corresponding parts, meaning they're matching sides and they're matching angles. Congruent polygons have sides that match up and are congruent and have angles that match up and are congruent. This is on your sheet if you're filling in your sheet. So in this scenario, I have AB is this top part right here. He is congruent to EF. Yes, order matters. If I list A first, I have to list E first in my congruent figure. BC, so that's from top of the figure to the bottom of the figure, is congruent to FG, and yes, order matters. CD is congruent to GH, DA is congruent to HE. So all sides have corresponding sides, and all angles have corresponding angles. Angle A is congruent to angle E. Angle C is congruent to angle G. Angle B is congruent to angle F. And angle D is congruent to angle H. <coughs> All right, let's see if this makes sense. If we have a triangle, W, Y, S, and I just made this triangle up, doesn't even matter, WYF, is congruent to triangle MKB. I'm going to just draw another random triangle. So I have to match up the parts. M has to match up to W, so I put W here at the top, I'm going to have to put M here at the top as well. Y goes second, it corresponds to K, so I have to put K where my Y is, and V is where my S is. Match up. Make sure you write this down on your paper. Everything I'm writing down, you should also have down on your paper. What are the corresponding congruent parts? I can definitely match up my angles very quickly. Angles should roll out fast. Angle W is congruent to angle M. Angle Y is congruent to angle K. And angle S is congruent to the only other letter left in the green triangle B. Angles come out really fast. I have a triangle. I have three angles. I should have three angles listed in my congruent parts. The sides, side Y, or WY, is congruent to side MK. You see, I just copied that answer. Um, side YS, this bottom base triangle, is congruent to side KV. And then WS is congruent to MV. Sup 
suppose that WYS is congruent to MKV. Oh, haha, I have a picture of that right here. We all should have a picture of that written down. If the measure of W is 62 and the measure of Y is 35, what is the measure of angle V? What? And a splain. So we're going to use the triangle sum theorem. That says all the angles inside of a triangle add up to be 180. So I have that W is 62. I have Y is 35. I do not have S. And I have that they are all added up to 180. So I'm going to add these guys together. 5 and 2 is 7. So this is a 9. I'm just doing some adding. So I get 97 plus S is equal to 180. I'm subtracting 97 from both sides. Seven, eight. And I get 83 degrees. I know that angle S is 83 degrees. And that means that because of this property here, because angle S is congruent to angle V, the measure of angle S is equal to the measure of angle V, which means the measure of angle V is equal to 83 degrees. Because it does say explain. It does explain. All right, so I have one more little problem right here. It says, um, is triangle ABC or ABD congruent to triangle CBD? Justify your answer. So in this scenario, all to, to call something congruent, we need that all parts are congruent. So I'm just I'm just looking at this. Is triangle ABD congruent to triangle DBC? And we need to justify our answer. So can I show that all my angles are congruent and all my sides are congruent? So I am missing, I would like DB to be congruent and AB to be congruent. I can definitely say that DB is congruent to DB. So this angle right here, DB is congruent to this angle right here, or this side. DB is congruent to that side DB because of the reflexive property. So I'm missing that this bottom side is congruent. If you don't have that bottom side congruent, you can't show that your figures are congruent. So this would be, no, I cannot prove that AB is congruent to BC. So the triangles 
are not congruent. You need all this, you need to be able to show that all the signs are congruent in order to have a congruent figure. Until we get to this property. All right, so third angle theorem. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the congruent statements and start building um, new theorems off of it. If two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then we can say that their third angle is congruent, thanks to the triangle sum theorem. If all three angles add up to be 180, two in one triangle is congruent to two of the other angles in another triangle, we can say that those third angles are going to be congruent also. Uh, so let's see how this is applicable. We're going to use triangle ABC, this first one here, and triangle DEF um, to answer the questions above. If the measure of angle A is 74, then the measure of angle D also has to be 74. If the measure of angle B is a 44, then the measure of angle E also has to be 44. If the measure of angle C is 62, then the measure of angle F also has to be 62 by the third angles theorem. If two angles are congruent to two other angles in a triangle, then their third angle has to be congruent. Thank you, triangle sum. <coughs> All right, we have a nice little proof here, proving triangles congruent. We are given that... LM is congruent to LO, MN is congruent to ON, M, angle M is congruent to angle O, and MLN is congruent to OLN. We're going to, with the five statements, we're going to prove that triangle LMN is congruent to triangle LON. So we are given that two of the sides are congruent. By the reflexive property, LN is congruent to LN. Angle M is congruent to O. Angle MLN is congruent to angle OLN. You guys are now seeing, we, don't, we didn't throw all the given statements in one. We saved these angle givens for statement three. That's fun, fun stuff. So we know that angle ML, MNL is congruent to angle ONL by the third angle theorem, because that third angle has to be the same. So our triangle is congruent by the definition of congruent triangles, where all the sides, we show that all the sides are congruent, and we show that all the angles are congruent. Yeah. Once you show that, you can prove that your, your figures are congruent. All right, so we're going to do the same thing here. We're given that A is congruent to angle D, AE is congruent to DC, EB is congruent to CB, BA is congruent to BD. We're going to prove that these two triangles are congruent. So AE, what's up here, is congruent to DC, EB is congruent to CB. BA is congruent to BD. All that information is given to you. Angle A is congruent to angle D. That is also given. Angle L, angle ABE. So that's this guy right here. It's congruent to, huh, that's funny. What's this angle here congruent to? This guy right. This angle right here is congruent to who? I'll pause you. Show up all the time. All right, so because of the vertical angles theorem, and oh, yeah, it's right there underneath the reason. So, um, so the vertical A, B, E, will be congruent to D, B, C. 
by vertical angles theorem. And then angle E is going to be congruent to angle C because of that third angles theorem. So we can say triangle AEB is congruent to DCB. My definition of congruence.